Hello and welcome to my craft room. My name is Michelle Wells. I'm a stamping up demonstrator from Tasmania, Australia. Thank you very much for joining me for my first live in oh, be a few months now. So, but anyway, while I wait for a few people to get on, um, I don't even know what that meant. I can see Sally on. I actually know your your little picture now of your puppies. So anyway, so before I get started, I if you would like one of my catalogs, um, please reach out to me and I will send them out to you. So we've got the mini catalog which goes through till December. I think it finishes on the. Um, I think it's the fourth of. January I think 3rd of January so it'll finish on the 3rd of January this one um, and this one runs through this is the annual catalogue and it runs through to um, April 2024 so if you'd like a copy I've already sent out a few because I had a couple of ladies request so but anyway I'm I'm standing up because I'm too scared to sit down because um, I feel like I won't find my comment. So, but um, anyway, I should have left something there. Here, yeah, I'll, I'll leave these here while I have a chat. So, hello, Margie. Thanks for joining. Um, and hello, Sally. I'm just going to have a look on my... I've got two mobiles going here at the moment. So, I hope you can hear me. So, just give me the thumbs up if you can hear me. So... Um, Hi Margaret, how are you? Hi Glenda. So I'm just having, because I'm standing up, I could see all your comments popping through. But um, I'm going to see. Oh, actually, I've got myself live here. Anyway, oh, hang I'm on. standing up. I'll turn that down. Ah, don't want to hear me. So I actually have found myself. So it's going to work okay. So is it clear? Can you see it clearly? So I think I've said hello to everybody. All right, I'm going to pop that down there so I can see your comments and maybe I can sit down. So, um, and if you're new to my channel, um, please let me know where you're watching from. So, I am going to sit down because I can actually, oh, <laughs> can actually see it now. So, and it looks good from my angle. Probably could go up a little bit more, but I'm just going to shuffle that. I'm going to shuffle that up a little bit more. And oh, I just don't have enough room in my craft room for anything. So I'm just going to shuffle that up just a little bit more. I'm just going to have a look on here. So it's loud and clear. Thank you. Hello, Kay. Thanks for joining all the way from Rockhampton. I just come back on Sunday week um, back from Brisbane. My, my son lives up in Springfield. He moved up there nine months ago and the weather was beautiful and I was hoping to bring it back with me. So, but um, I'm just checking to make sure that I'm straight and it looks maybe a little bit crooked. Anyway, I'm going to get going. So, hello Jennifer, how are you? Thanks for joining. So, hopefully my phone will sit there so I can still see comments or you'll end up with it on the floor so okay so it's not going to work there maybe if I take it out no I'm just going to see if I can leave it there anyway I'm going to start so I am going to make um one of my famous easel cards like my easel calendars um I love making these and I made these for um, my customers and I can't show you a picture because I sent out the last two um, to people that like put an order in so and um, I'm just having a look make sure I haven't um, all right so I'm gonna make um, like I said I'm gonna make a what do you call them so it's an easel. Well, I think it's a, a calendar that stands up anyway. I had one to show you, but um, so I thought, well, I'll make it from scratch today. 
So what we're going to do is I'm going to use, um, these are the products that I'm using. I'm going to use, and I'm hoping that these are still in, the art, art, artistic dyes. I'm hoping that they're still current because I forgot to have a look in the book. But so, I'm sure somebody will let me know. But if they're not current, please let me know. Um, and, yeah. But anyway, I've already cut that out. I'm going to use the new bubble bath. I have not used this yet. I'm going to use my um, bubble bath um, stampin' blends. And I'm also, I haven't used these, the first time I used these um, blending brushes was when I made this um, this calendar. So, okay, I'm just, just making sure I'm fine. And I've already pre-cut everything out that I needed here. So I didn't need a stamp set or anything with this one. And I've also got my calendar. So this is what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to get, I need that one. And I'll need those after. So I'm going to pop that there. I actually was watching a video um, of a lady. I'm not quite sure. I think her name's Jackie. And she made she made a card with this same um so I'm sort of casing a bit from her, but I'm making it into a calendar. So this is what I am gonna I'm gonna create today. But I just like how she made it into a card and so I decided I'm gonna make it into a calendar. So I'm gonna pull my sleeves up because I of all things I've we've had a really cold, bleak wind winter's day today it's been raining and the wind's that chilly out there I'm in a jumper so but um like I said I would love to have brought the weather back for me so I've got a piece of card here this is um 11 by 4 and I've just scored it yeah and I scored it at five and a half so that'll be my easel uh, that'll be my my top part and this one is going to make the little stand so and that's four by four and then I've got another piece here that's three and three quarters by five and a quarter and I have to really make sure I give the right measurements because I have gone back through a few of my videos and um, I've gave you some wrong measurements and I've confused one lady so I'm going to make sure that I give the right measurements out so so anyway so I'm going to get started what I'm going to do first is I might do the background first so like I said I I'm new to all the blending so I'm just going to grab this piece of paper here and I'm going to pop that under my my piece of paper my um, white basic white piece so and I have not used this color yet so and I've got something stuck there and when you want your tools you can't sort okay I don't want to use my fingers I've just got something there and I just can't find anything when I want here's a piece of just white I don't know what's on that but it's got bits of white on there so and these are going to be quite juicy so I'll stick that over there in the behind me so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start like coloring the background so and I'm not quite sure how and I'm going to go dark in the middle because you're not going to really see it and then I'm just going to blend out and I can't think of a name I think it was Jackie Williams she'd done this um, technique in a card and um, I could be wrong but I will find it and um, but I wanted to like I'll give a shout out to whoever but I'm sure it was Jackie Williams from New Zealand that gave me this idea. Hello, Roz. How are you? Thanks for joining. It's um, it's been I've been really itching to get on. I've just had so much on my plate um, at the moment, and and just not being able to do lives. I've sort of missed them. So I hope I'm not shaking the table. So. Yeah. Like I said, you're not going to really see the middle. So if you 
But I just want to get um, the last ones I've done in these. I've done it was a basic grey one. That was nice. Because not everybody likes pink and purple. And if I had my way, I'd um, I'd be making pink and purple. So, so I'm just going to check that and just see. It's starting to stand out. But I want a little bit more. So, and I'm just going to go up there. And I'm not, I'm new to all this colouring. I've never, I've decided, like, um, this stamping up year is going to be a new year. So I'm going to get out and I'm just going to experiment with different things and, and try. So I keep forgetting. I've got to go around the outside. So, because my calendar is going to cover a lot of that, yeah. Like I said, I'm new to all this, but I think it just gives it a nice subtle background. So I just want a little bit more on the outside. So, okay. Just going to go there and there. So does anybody else, um, is anybody else like me and hasn't ever done use the blending brushes because I think I'm the only one so but um, let me know if you you haven't done it over so I think that's going to be enough so so I thought I'd do that first so I can get that um, that's just going to give a nice sort of subtle background on the back of that so I'm just going to sit that aside to dry I'll sit him over there and I'm gonna move that move that out of the way I decided I'm just going to use my pink. I've actually ordered some more of these, so um, so I'm going to use so I can use the pink, um, pink one on all the like the pinks and the purple with purples and that. Not that we have, um, we have the dark purple and the light purple. So maybe I need to get a different one. So I'm going to bring in my trimmer, and I'm going to grab this piece, which I said was four by four. Um, and I'm going to score this at half. So I'm going to do my half on this side. So I just like to do, get the cutting blade out of the way. So I'm just going to do my half. Then I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to do two. So we've got half, two, and three and a half. You can tell I've done this that many times. I know these measurements. Um, um, off by hand now, off by, off by heart now, so. And I decided this time, I'm going to try not to say um. I think I've done pretty well so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a valley, oh, a mountain. Then I'm going to do a valley and then I'm going to do a mountain and and that's that's how it'll stand. So we'll glue that to our base like that. So forgot to grab my glue. It's way over here. So so I'm just going to glue that piece to here. So I'm just going to pop glue on this. Hopefully you can see it because I'm going to remember to stay in. This is a new bottle of glue, so I will. And I'm going to just do one side first. So I'm just going to pop that onto there and line it up and wiggle it around and get glue everywhere. I don't know. I still haven't changed with my glue. I'm still still messy. still do too much and ends up sticking to everything else. And then I've got to have a rubber, and which is like that now so I'm hoping okay I'm gonna grab my I just used an ordinary rubber because that's just sticky so I don't want it to stick the card together so and I'm off to a good start already so I use all ready for Christmas or on your way to starting Christmas I haven't started I've got two grandsons birthdays this Friday 
Um, Archie turns six on Friday and Lincoln turns eight on Sunday. So, so I've got their birthdays first. So, and I'm making them one of these little frames that um, you fill up with like lollies and little bits and pieces and money and stuff like that. So they know they're getting something like that, but they don't know what they're getting in it. So, and Lincoln, like, Archie, I said to said to him, what sort of things would you like in it? And Archie said, movie tickets. So we've got to get some movie tickets. So they're cute at that age. But they're growing up too fast, so... But yeah, but I had a good time in Brisbane. I, hubby and I went on a, we went over there and like um, we went on a cruise around um, Brisbane, the Brisbane River, and that was nice. So I enjoyed that. But um, yeah, I enjoyed catching up with my son and because he lives in Springfield and no, we did not. Um, run into Homer Simpson or anything like that so <laughs> hello Anne how are you thanks for joining so for those who are just joining we're making a calendar so so what I'm going to do is like I've popped my base and that that's what um like to stand it up so for those that haven't seen it I'm just going to grab my background and my white piece now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that to that piece. And all I've done with that is, is um, use my blending brush and colour the background. But I'm going to get um, really into like using stuff. I've got that gilded, um, oh, I can't think what it's called, the, the gilded, that glitter, the, the gilded, gold uh, I think it's glitter <laughs> I can't even think of the name of it now but I haven't used that either I must like that's probably retired now so if someone had let me know if it's retired or not like I said I've been out of um, I've had yeah, some medical issues plus I've also had um, been looking after my mum and she's yeah She's a, it's a hard job looking after somebody with dementia. So I take my hats off to anybody that does it because, yeah, it's just so hard. Can't remember whether I glued that on. I don't think I did. Um, I think I just put, because I don't want to, I'm t sort of going bl um, blind now because I don't have, um, a, like, one to show you because I've already handed them out to, my customers so I'm making these for my customers so I think what all I done was I popped because um, that's going to go over there and then that's going to sit over there because I think it was just tear tape that I used so hopefully I get my tear tape out from up here without um, an avalanche I oh, know I'm not going to be able to get it or oh, am I I've got it sitting up on my my stand here I've got it. That's all right. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of tear tape along there. So, like I said, this is probably not going to be a long video today because um, I can't find my scissors and my arm going through there. Um, I'm just having a look. Yes, it, it's, it is. I did with my mum. Yeah, it's hard, Margaret. It really is. The Gilded Flakes, Mar Margie, are they still available? Like, like are they still current? So, and you miss your mum? Yeah, no. Oh, that's what I'm... I, even though I know it's stress, like it's hard work and like stressing now, I will miss her when like she goes. So, but... Some days I could just run away and just say, look, mum, look after yourself. But I couldn't do that. So she brought me into the world and looked after me. So I'm going to do the same for her. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work out which way I want to have this. So 
And I think I like it. Okay. Or do I want the big flower up there? Okay, I might put the big flower up there. Hard decisions trying to... Um, there you go. We're down now, so making sure that's probably not um, centred. It wasn't. Okay. And that looks centred. It's hanging over a little bit there, but that won't matter. It'll fit just nicely in the envelope. So, I can't remember if I put these up on um, dots or not. So I'm going to put this one up on dots because I can't remember if I um, did that. So, not me. Um, me dots. I mean, these. I've, I've, see, I've lost the names of all sorts of things. So, so I'm just going to pop some dimensionals that's their name some dimensionals this is what happens when you you don't do a live in a while um you forget what they're called so and i'm just going to pop that one into the center so it doesn't sag so um they are still available thank you margie um i might come back on another time and See, I've got to really um, work out my days of when I can go live and that with Mum. Like today, she's at um, she's at a day centre, like for people with um, dementia. So she doesn't like going. Just better double check that there. Um, this these ones are new. These calendars to me, so they're a little bit bigger. So. And I'm hoping, hoping I get it straight. What I might do is I might stand up for a minute. And I'm just going to line that up on my grid. So I can just sort of, so I know that I'm going to get it straight. Because once you sit these down, it's very hard to pick back up. Oh, and I think that's. Okay, this is not what to do on, oh, that's good. So, it's a hard part, is like getting it straight with dimensionals and making sure you've got it, that looks straight enough, I think. Move it over a little bit. Okay, that's where it's going, ladies and gentlemen, if there is gentlemen on. So, okay. So, hi Jenny, how are you? Thanks for joining. So, and I think it looks nicer with the popped up bit. I think with my last one I actually glued it down, but I do do like it raised up. So, and what I'm going to do now, oh, do you know what I forgot? I wonder if I could save that. Um, here we go. I'm just going to see if I can take that all up. And I forgot the most important bit. I'm going to stick that there. Actually, I no. Okay. I'm not going to see that anyway. I forgot the most important bit is the flicking. I need to flick some colour at the back. That's why I had so... I'm off to a good start today, ladies. So I'm going to pop that there. I may take the whole lot open. And I'm going to grab my, I think I might go with, do you reckon we go with dark or <clears throat> light? You know, I just realised on here. Oh, no, that's all right. I was looking over here. I'm thinking it's called donker but that's another name like so on this side the dark bubble bath and the light so you reckon dark or light so we've got two darks so i reckon darks are going to win so i love that dye and it looks so pretty with the bubble bath it does i this is the first time using bubble bath like i haven't got i've just put a big order in and i've got all the colors now so okay we're going to go dark so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the 
yeah, this side, the brush in. And what I'm going to do, I should have done this before I, so I'm just going to flick. It's probably, yes. I should have done this step before I stuck it on. But I thought it just went really nice with the, and you can put as much as you like. Yeah, I think the the dark one was the best um best one. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna have a look and see. Probably a little bit more down here, I've probably gone I've over flicked now. can't over flick can you okay that's going to do so and it just gives a nice background so now back to the tear tape I'm just going to pop another little bit down there now so I'll pop right over there where I and this part will be easy to And I've had had beautiful nails. All my nails were all all growing this length, and then a few of them decide I've got this one jammed. This one was that length, and I got it jammed in the suitcase in Brisbane, so I had to yeah pull it off. And it wasn't um, a very nice moment. It was um, quite um, quite yeah. It hurt a lot. So right. So we're going to go back to this piece here and we're going to pop him on so now I'm going to try to straighten that up again I'm just going to line that and I'm just going to go I'm going to go blind this time so, okay might put in a little bit more tear tape because with the dimensionals it might not so I'm just going to add a little bit more. Okay. So. Uh. I'm a little bit disappointed this year. Uh, next year for the big, I can't go to on stage. So I've been trying, trying to go to like i've got so many things booked in that that same time in march so i can't go but anyway I'll, I'll catch up with the next one next year and i couldn't do the like this one this year because um it's my husband's birthday and i think that's lopsided but anyway it's good so back to what we were going to start off with before is I'm going to use the Blooming Pearls and I don't know, I was going to use a different colour to, so I did like these, didn't know whether to use gold or whether to go with the, the pink itself. So, so what do you reckon, the gold or, or the pink? Or we could go that the greeny, the greeny pink. So the greeny pink. It's green with gold. So what do you reckon? The gold. We got one gold. So I'll cut, cut it out. I'll just cut those two gold ones out, and I'll put the gold there, and then I'll cut two of the pink ones out. And, and we'll have a look. And that's the goal at the pink. Well, then you've got those greeny, the green. So, so what do you reckon? Hey, okay. we've got two gold and a green. So, gold's winning so far. So, yeah. So, we've got two gold and a green. 
Alrighty. I reckon we'll probably go with the gold too because it's quite pretty. So I'll, I'll use like three of them. But I'm going to use two big ones and I'll use a little one. So pink, gold. Gold wins. <laughs> okay, we're going to go with the gold. So I'll pop those back in there in a minute so I don't lose those. So I'm going to grab my take your pick tool, which I... It's over there. So I'm going to pop that back there. And I might pop one. I'm going to pop one up there, I think. I'm going to pop this big one down here. And I'm going to add one of those little tiny ones. So I'm going to pop them down there with that one as well. So there you go. So that is my card, well not card, but my um, calendar, so, but I could have made a second one I suppose, but then it meant I would have to run around and grab all the stuff and that, so, but we've been on here half an hour and I promise when I come back next time I will do a longer video, so, but I know some of you like the court the short and sweet um, videos so so there you go so what do you think so okay hello Charmaine how are you or cookie that's fun and a handy tool that's a fun and a handy tool what um the take a pick tool is that what you mean cookie so thank you Margaret thank you Margie thank you Maureen thank you Anne Thank you, Kay. So, and, and I'm just having a look to make sure that nobody else is. So, yes, the pick tool. Yeah, it is. It's really, well, you can get um, different. I'll show you this, this here. Like, you've got your putty in on the end. So, like, mine's nearly out in here. So, you just squeeze that and your putty comes out the end. And you have a replacement putty in for that. But then on the, this side, you've got your pokey tool. And then you can unwind it, and then you've got your little spatula. But then it also comes with a couple of other ones. But um, I it comes with another one that has two um, scoring tools on it. So, yeah. Thank you, Glenda. It is gorgeous and very handy. Um, thank you, Sally. So, and then we do have another one that's similar to this. Excuse my arm. And this one's got your dye, little brush. It's the same thing. So you can, like, if you wanted one, you could buy. I bought two so I could, and it's not going to come off. So they just unscrew. And so if I wanted to have it on this one, I could just unscrew that. But not, it's very hard to, to get that off with the putty in it so but yeah they just screw on so and I've got this one for my like my dye brush to get out all those little bits that are stuck in your in your brush so so yeah so that's um that little tool so but oh I'm trying to put that on that one it's not going to work that goes on oh it's not going to go on that one because that's like bigger so that's why it wouldn't go on. So, but yeah, so they're my little tools and little gadgets and that. So, but there you go. So that's my little card today. So thank you very much for joining me. And um, I hope that you um, can catch me next time when I do the next one. So, and it's not bad. I've got 10 people watching today. So that's, that's pretty good for a first time um First video for uh, would be probably eight months, nine months, something like that. So, yeah, it's good to be back, Margaret. I'm happy to be back. I was so excited to do the video today. So, but yeah, I I think it's something that I've really missed. So, but yeah, I've got so many projects that I want to do, but I just wanted to share share this one today. So, but. 
Hopefully my dog doesn't start, bark start barking because she, we just heard the plane go out and she doesn't like planes. So, yeah, we managed to get through the video about planes. So, But anyway, I will let you all go and so you can go and enjoy the rest of your day. And um, I hope to see you all soon um, for another vi um, video. So I look forward to um, sharing a lot more. So, alrighty then. I'll go and I'll let you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for joining and bye for now.